Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here today to share with you this sweet little wall hanging that I created using a bunch of goodies from Angel Dream Crafts, Kim on Etsy, and I will have the link to the shop below so you can go over and get yourself some of these goodies too. But I really do just love how this turned out. It's so cute. Look at this. So I actually created it on um, a, a piece of chipboard that I had and uh, I covered it with some really pretty scrapbook paper and then I put an applique right here to cover up uh, the hanger. I used a, a pearl strand to hang it but I started by of course layering on the ruffles and I pleated them around and this is one of my favorite eyelet trims from Angel Dream Crafts because I just love how wide it is and the scalloped and then the the finishing um threads they're so pretty look at that's gorgeous so i pleated that all the way around then i used the um pleated tool trim in beige you know how much i love this pleated tool trim put it on everything and she has all the colors and then i added another um scalloped eyelet right here and I did uh, pleat them myself so that they'd lay so nicely and it really does. It looks so nice and ruffled and lays so nicely. And I did do a tutorial uh, of how I put this together. If you'd like to see it, just stay tuned for that. But look at those luscious layers. And then I added a doily right here and then I put another doily on top. So this one in the back is a little um, like beige and then I added a white one on top. And then I had this image in my stash, stash which somebody gifted to me. For the life of me, I don't remember who. Um, so I'm sorry, but I'm thankful. Thank you so much. It's, uh, it feels like a card stock and it's kind of sepia, but it has a little bit of pink. Don't you just love that image I love it so much so I put that image down <clears throat> on top of the doilies and then I snippety snipped some appliques from Angel Dream Crafts and I put them around the edges and then I used this beautiful um, look at this beautiful beaded piece that I got from Lisa in my last challenge thank you so much Lisa I have been enjoying these very much I love them thank you so much for sharing and there's actually a doily even behind that and you can find doilies at Angel Dream Crafts also. And then I added uh, two uh, little bows that I had in that blush color and another piece of the applique up here. And then I of course stickled the beautiful little image. I just think it's so cute. And then I added the hanger so now it's just it's ready to go. Isn't she so pretty? I just love how she turned out and I love absolutely love the ruffles and you know how much I love the eyelet lace thank you Kim for having some so I will put a link to Kim shop below so you can go get yourself some of the yummy goodness and I will also put a link to all of the designers who are currently on the team you can find them all below and I hope that you are all doing well. And if you would, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And stay tuned for the tutorial if you'd like to see how I created it. And I pop some pictures on at the end. See you on the next one. So I had these large chipboard circles in my stash. And I painted them white like I do everything. And now I'm going to cover up all the painting I did like I always do. But at least the edges are white. <laughs> So I am tracing these circles on some pattern paper and then cutting out some pattern paper to cover up all the painting I did. <laughs> but you know, you never know. So I just like to go ahead and put a coat of gesso on everything and then I end up covering up. I don't know, it's a thing. So I'm just going to attach uh, the pattern paper to the chipboard with some wet glue. And I am going to put paper on both sides, even though one side I am going to cover up with laces. There still are parts where it might peek through, so I would like to have a pretty paper there, <laughs> just in case. So I didn't use my good expensive paper because I knew I'd probably end up covering it up anyway. So it's really just scrap paper out of my bin. 
So now I am going to start layering on the laces and I am gonna use this beautiful eyelet scalloped lace from Angel Dream Crafts. And of course you can find a link to Angel Dream Crafts below. And I've decided that I am gonna pleat it myself um, all around. So I'm kind of just folding it over on itself to make these little pleats because I like the gathered ruffled look that it gives. And if you fold it over instead of just pinching it up as you go. You don't get as much bulk and it lays nice and flat. So that's what I'm gonna do with this first layer. So for these next two layers, I am gonna speed this up a little bit. I tried not to speed up that first one so that you could see the technique I was using in case you would like to do the same. But I am gonna use that same technique with these next layers. So with this layer, I am using the pleated tulle trim from Angel Dream Crafts in beige. And I am just gonna pleat it around on top of the other eyelet. I love this lace. It just adds a layer of softness to the project that I love. The tool trims have got to be one of my uh, Angel Dream Craft staples for sure. So for the last um, ruffle layer, I'm adding another beautiful scalloped eyelet from Angel Dream Crafts. And this one is much smaller. So I am actually going to just pleat it down right on top of the uh, tool trim that I used instead of going uh, further into the circle with this layer because it's short enough to go right on top of the tool trim and have the tool trim still peeking out um, from underneath of it. And I wanted to leave a good amount of space in the middle. So I glued down this beautiful doily in the middle, and I forgot to film that part. 
so sorry. And now I'm just kind of uh, laying out the pieces the way I want them before I start gluing things down. I like to just lay it out to see, you know, how I want things to be and then I make changes accordingly. So I'm going to use this just this beautiful image. I just love this little um, girl and I am going to snippity snip up this applique uh, to surround the image with and then I will play around with how I want the things before I glue the things. So after I played around with that, I decided to add another white doily on top of that uh, beige doily. And then I'm just going to put the image right on top of that. And then I did um, decide to add another doily here and there and, you know, play around with the original layout. So I am just going to glue these bits um, down around the image and add some uh, beautiful bling and embellishments and then put a hanger on the back and she is done and beautiful and was so fun to make. I love making things like this and it's so pretty. So, I mean, I hope you um, enjoyed watching the tutorial. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I'd love to, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section and don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and you can find a link to Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy below. And you can also find a link to all of the amazing designers that are uh, currently serving on our team. Just a great, talented group of ladies. And I want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.